Oh, <laughs> this theater of the mind. What, are you, we, what, are you what is this theater, theater of, of mind? What is this jibber jabber you talk about? Theater of mind. <laughs> theater of the mind is a shortcut for shortcut. <laughs> hey, Renoff, yeah. we were just attacked by some plants. Was that you're doing? Come, come, come on oh, in. Oh, wait, oh, no, this right no, no, there's lots Red of. Red off. We were just attacked by some plants. Was that you're doing? Oh no, 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 no. Those are those are the creatures. I, I I put a I put a sign on the very northern part of the ruins, the main road coming in. I I, I hope you saw that, uh, but I guess you did not. Well, we saw the sign, but we thought maybe they were like your defenses and that they're you know your they're your pets. No, they're they're not mine. Uh, I've been attacked by them several times. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, you won't be well, attacked by a few of them. <laughs> Learn to <drink. laughs> So I see that you're here at the rooms. Welcome to my home. How was the journey? Ah, uneventful, uneventful. We were able to uh, dispatch the rest of the the. the we trimmed some of your hedges. Ah. Yeah, and then there's a couple of bushes that. Uh, I like her. Kind of points over towards her. <laughs> Like like we said, we were attacked by some of them, so they are no longer. Uh, well, there's a lot more in, in Thunder Tree than just those twig blights. Uh, there's there's some spiders that are lurking in the ruins at the base of the hill. I, there's some to the north, probably some to the to the east. Uh, there's are there actually really zombies. Uh, they're, they're, oh, there's lots of lots of zombies around. You know, when when Thunder Tree was a was a village. Back when I was younger, the Mount Houghton now exploded, and the fallout from the ash basically caught a caught our town on fire, our village on fire, and a lot of people were burned in their homes. And some I don't know what happened with the ash. I, I don't know if the ma the ash was magical, but uh, everyone, all, all the, the the people that died, started digging themselves up, and and, and we kind of nicknamed them Ash Zombies. That was the only logical thing that so, that we could think of uh, how they became the zombies was from being in contact with the so, hot ash. So you said you grew up in this area. I did. Uh, do you know of a place called Cragmaw Castle? Hmm. Or anyone that would might know what the Krag, where the Cragmaw Castle? Cragmaw Castle. We're looking for. Yeah. Hmm. That's a location I haven't been to in a long time, but. Seeing that you made the trip you know all where the way is. out here, I do know where the Cragmaw Castle is, and I can give you the location. That is great news. So, you guys, uh, he says, God, give me your map. So. <laughs> Alright, so you guys are here at Thunder Tree. I want to... He draws, he scribbles, and he holds the pen up to his... Well, not the pen, but the, the ink quill, and he, he's dabbling into his, his little bottle of ink, and he goes, Yes, 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 I remember where Cragmall is. And he draws the location on your map. It's about a day's travel from uh -huh. here. But it's in the very south of the Neverwinter Wood. If you guys can't see it... Mm. Cragmall Castle is right here. What do you know of this Cragmall Castle? You said you've been to it. Well, I know that it's in ruins, and uh, at one time, I I know that there was a a goblinoid tribe at this at this castle. It's been many, 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 many years ago. It's been abandoned uh, since uh, more than since I've been living, actually. And, and, and where's uh, Mick the Peddler, your friend? You said oh, yeah, Mick. Yeah. How, how, how's old Mick doing? Mm, we did, haven't seen did, Mick. Oh, Mick just came up oh, here to see you. That's right. I was going to tell you where he is. <laughs> he He's down in the... There's the old smithy. It was actually untouched by by the actual ash storm that we had from Oat now. And he, that's where he resides. Yeah, he he's one of those... Uh, he's one of those little gnomes... He's a nice guy. Prices are pretty... Eh, they're... Hey, he's a gnome. He's a peddler. So, I mean... Hey. Yeah, you just go out this road here. So he's got some good stuff. Oh, he's... 
He's got wall-to-wall -wall stuff in there. That's where I get all my stuff. We, we, we trade from time to time. He's a good cartographer also. He's, I know that he spent a lot of time down in the Underdark. Mm, okay. That place needs to be cleaned out. Yeah, uh, I'm. I'm not Did too sure that. that uh, dark? I. I think he has something uh, that that he wants done. Uh, I. 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 I don't know. He might. He was asking me something about the tower, but I'm not going by that tower. You got to be crazy to go by that tower. Also, he's willing to trade. Uh. He, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Hey, just be careful though. There's a. I, I've seen the last couple couple weeks. Uh, you know, some of these guys running around with some weird dragon mask. I don't know. Some black dragon mask going. I. I don't know. I don't know. This is probably some stupid cult. Oh, dirt. Dirt. That sounds familiar. Yeah. The, and the reason why I left. The reason why I went to Wyvern Tor. <laughs> We got a green dragon in, 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 in Thunder Tree now. A green dragon. And, I, and I'll what? tell you what. I Yeah. I would love for you to get rid of that dragon. I can't do it. I'm too old now. The Rel tier? Yeah. Up well, in the I tower. Don't think we could take care of a dragon, but... Oh, well, the, the well, castle? He's, he's, not a, he's not a super big dragon. I mean, you can probably take it. There's, there's six of you. Uh, you, I think I might would you join us? Oh boy, I don't know if I'd join you for that. Now I'm, I'm, just, I'm <laughs> cooking. I'm cooking a pretty important stew, and I and it and, and whenever it's it's done, it, you know, I, I I can't let it overcook. It'll get too thick. Oh my god! And I don't if you it. help us fight the dragon, I'll give you some carrots. I got plenty of carrots. I'll just go kill twig blocks. A rabbit. Yeah. What's a rabbit? If we help you finish the stew, will you come help us with the dragon? Oh, it's going to be cooking for a while, so it's it's a long pro it's it's a long process. Oh, we have time. That's okay. I we, need to level up my time. cooking. <laughs> 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 we need just some crafting skills. She definitely mm. needs to up her cooking. It wasn't tasting very good. Uh, I don't know. I'm it's getting better. I don't, know. I don't know. Oh boy. So right off is down there to the south in the yep. smithy. Yeah, there. right, right, right on past this uh, this building here. And he southeast. He, point, he south. points out the yeah. He points out the uh, he points out the window and, and points towards. Oh, this building right now. Yeah. yeah, and you can People see that. People live here. Just me and just me and uh, me and Mick. That's it. Everyone and the dragons. Else is, yeah, and dragon, and a, I don't know, maybe some, some of those guys wearing the, the funny mask now. I, I don't know. Those those guys are a little creepy. Now, uh, you said those the guys in the funny mask are in the the ruins here with you. Yeah, they've been over on the eastern side. They haven't they haven't really. I don't know. Maybe maybe they saw the dragon. I I don't know. What do you guys think? Should we go head over and talk to Mick a little bit? See what he's got going on? Or should we just, uh... We know where Dr Cla Cragma is and... Mick's an okay guy. Head down there. Uh, are, are any of his uh, wares magical in any sense? I think he has some magic, yeah. I mean, he's, he's, he's right on the other side of, of, of this building here and he points out the one to points out the one that says, yeah, he's on the other side. He's got a lot of wares. Tell him I said hi. Tell him I'll tell him I'll bring him over some, some stew when I'm done cooking. And he comes over if, to, if to his imaginary was... stove and <laughs> starts <laughs> with it. <laughs> Is there any lore of hidden hidden magic here in Thunder Tree ruins? I mean, there's the the tower. I mean, it was it was vacated. I mean, it was there was a mage there before you know before the the eruption. Well, I, mean, I, I guess he go, probably had man. magic. I, it could be. What do you think about that, old man? 
Right. I think we definitely need to go talk over to uh, Mick over there, see what's going on. If this place was so heavily infested with dangerous plants and undead, why would you come back to live here? Because this is my home. It's been my home. You don't have to worry about the bandits. But there's undead and plants that attack. Well, it's I've been lucky so it. far. I mean, I come and go. I mean, I'm gone for a couple weeks at a time. I, I've stayed at other places. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, let's let's go. I say we go visit the peddler. So I'll he's gone. I I concur. I can use some more magic. Get move on, magic man. healing. Some sexual magic. And on our uh, on our downtime, I think Dirt needs to come to the the school of uh, of Lazar, so he, so he can learn how to actually use magic. Right. I I agree. He was terrible with his firebolts, man. You dropped the ball on that one, Dirt. You know, I still need more practice. So the next one of you that makes a crack about my magic is going to get a firebolt, and you better hope I'm still missing. <laughs> Your magic sucks. <laughs> Why don't you just cast sleep on me? Also remember, yeah. you did <laughs> yeah, try yeah, to shoot. Remember, you tried to cast a magic missile at somebody who had a magical barrier. <laughs> All right. So, what are you guys doing? We're gonna go head over and talk to Mick. Yeah, yeah we're heading over. I guess I just knock on the door. Knock, knock. Mm, on this door? This there. This door is not. This is not where Mick the Oh well, yeah. Is. This is on I knock, the. I knock on the said door. Mix on the other side. There's a building on the other side. Is what he meant. Oh. Yeah. Oh, we thought you meant this one well, I mean, here. Uh, since oh. you guys are here, this looks like this is probably a uh, like an old ruined farmhouse. Um, it's pretty much you know half swallowed up by dense thicket now, loss of trees going up through the uh, the foundations, up through the roof, and also you can see that uh, uh, just like I said, lots of shrubbery trees, and like I said, the you know the path kind of runs south also, which looks like it's it's leaving the ruins of Thunder Tree. What are you seeing there, over here? Good question. Can't see anything <laughs> because the DM hasn't taken away. <laughs> well, I'm just waiting for you guys to. Oh, okay. Uh, That's yeah. good. I'm looking. Peeking. Uh, uncover it for you. I didn't hear you guys say you were going in, so it's fine. All right, there you go. Lots more well, stuff going on. He's going to peek in. All right. Yeah, I just peek my head in slightly. Nothing too interesting, right? Yeah. Not that you can tell. Hold on one second. You sure, you don't want to go hit the bushes. <laughs> you can. You can also sense that these, these on all these bushes are starting to rumble. Also, they're starting to shake and. Uh. <sighs> are you proceeding in, or are you leaving? I just walk into the room, fireball the room. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I, I was... I didn't even enter. I mean, like, I meant... I peeked in. Okay. Well, you can see that these things are what? active. You can see that these are active. Time to go. More shit. Oh, boy. Just burn the building down. <laughs> just burn it. No, I think we should just leave them be. They're, they're just little treants that are protecting their home. Yeah, you said that last time and they attacked us. <laughs> well, because that Zerker hit them with a stick. What? So, burn the house. Right. Let's just get the fuck he out said here. south, so what building did he. I mean, he was pointing this way, guys. Which building yes. do you think he, he was talking he, about? The building that you guys were just on, he was meaning that he. Well, he told you that there's a, a building on the other side of this as he pointed out the window towards this building here that I'm pinging. Uh, ah, there's, there's a building on the other side. 
Oh, I assume we'll have to go around the shrubbery or go through it. There's several buildings on the other side. Yeah. Alright, we'll just start to oh, I'd rather yeah. stick to buildings. the trail, guys, instead of uh, bushwhacking yeah. and disturb these. I would agree. That's what Dirt likes to do. <clears throat> so you can see when you guys go come ahead. to the intersection, you guys are probably getting close to the, the middle of Thunder Tree. And you can see that uh, right to your south, there is an old ruined building that might have been a store or workshop. There's a sign outside that's hanging, kind of only on you know one portion of the chain, the other is, is broken off, so it's kind of just dangling there. Uh, whatever was on it is faded from time. And you can also see, uh, coming out of the door, there is a, a whole bunch of spider web, just, I mean, tangled at the door, coming out onto the ground, and it's coming out from the building. And it's, st you know, sticking out. No reason to go in there. And, How about. You know. Nope. Light it, light, it, light it on fire. Have another flash of you, you can light the cobwebs on fire. I know cobwebs are flammable. But there's no reason to set fire and attract, uh, attract uh, those cultists or anything. Bandits there's a, whole, there's a holy treasure in there for you if you go in there. Uh, I think we need to talk to find Mick and see what's going on before we uh, start stirring up trouble. Let's, let's do that and we'll light this place on fire afterwards. I mean, we could search later. I'd rather yeah, see what we get ourselves into before uh, we uh, cause too So, I assume the building he was pointing at. Uh, I'm thinking it's this one. As you guys are, are starting to travel south, you can see the the building on the east. Uh, this is a small little ruined cottage or possible shop. Uh, and you can see that the, the door is... Yes, the door is open. You can see that there are, as you look in, as you're passing by, the light is going in. You can see that there are some sagging storage shelves and what appears to be some broken furniture. And there's also, you know, by the door, there's a lot of shards of broken uh, pieces of glass pottery. And then there's, you know, highly grown weeds, a lot of rubble by the door, stuff like that. And the building to the south uh, is definitely in, in pretty good shape. And you can see that there is a, uh, a chimney on the roof that uh, does have a just a glint of, of smoke coming out. It really wasn't... We weren't able to tell that there was a smoke coming out as you were walking through the ruins, but now that you're coming up on it, can see that there's just a little bit of smoke coming out, and the the roof's a little sagging, uh, but it looks like it'll last for a while. I think that's where Mick so. is. There's smoke. There's smoke coming out of that <clears throat> chimney. Mm-hmm. What do you see through the window? That's an excellent observation, Warhawk. Good job. <laughs> Warhawk. Fantastic job, Sherlock. You really solved this case, Sherlock. All right, so you guys are here at the southern cottage. This cottage here, you know, there's there's several windows you look in. You can see that there are many, many items, crates, boxes, lining the walls. You know, there's quite a bit of stuff that is in the middle of the floor. You can see several paths kind of winding through this stuff. And you can also hear something... Like a something beating on something in there. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe a hammer hitting something. So it's not like a fapping kind of sound. Sure, right. <coughs> really, really no, dirt. You it, would. Yes, it is a fapping sound of metal on metal. So yes, it is. Yeah, Ryu, you can do that uh, as long as you don't put ability points on ah, there. I go and knock on the door. <clears throat> ah! You hear something, you know, a couple things slam down, and uh, then a you open the door, and this is what this is what you see. I hope I don't open the door. I hope this something else opens the door. You see a uh, a small gnome standing at the door. And this gnome 
Uh, he's a he's got a long handlebar mustache. You can see that he's he's not a very tall gnome. He you know is in robes, sort of chainmail slash robes, and he also has a a black cat that is kind of twirling around his leg. Hmm. Uh, Mick, Mick the Pitler? That be me. This is West River uh, Rat. Mick the Pedler, uh My name is uh, Rogar. May the blessings of Tear be upon you. Uh, we're friends of Right Off. Well, come on in. I got some spider on the stove. The spider? I didn't know they were nutritious. Right. Gotta roast them, otherwise they're poison. Mm. Do you do you make poison? Depends. You got gold? Got some gold? Or says excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Boris. You want to see the inside of this, huh? Some peddler. <laughs> and as wow, you guys walk like in, your shelves you are quite empty. Oh no, they're not. <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> now you can see, you know, like I said, <laughs> you, guys you, were, dude. <laughs> you guys were looking into the window. You can see that there's a lot, there's a lot of stuff on the shelves. Sorry, continue. Uh, no, on the map it looks quite quite empty to me. <laughs> what can I sell you? Oh, I was just wondering if you. Uh, we were told that. Uh, we were told by uh, right off that you were maker of some gadgets and gadgets, and that you might have some wares to sell that might be magical. We got a couple of people here that are interested. Yeah, I don't really make them, but I do procure them for people. Ah. Uh, did you happen to get them from the tower there? We heard the the, the tower was a a mage tower. Used to be. There's a dragon in it now. There's I a dragon to stay away in from there. the tower. We heard the dragon was somewhere else. Yeah. He flies in and out of that op Yeah, that busted out roof, so I assume he's in there. Mm. Hey guys, I think it's time to go. <laughs> Get what you want. Let's go. Huh? I ain't sticking around for no dragon to come back. Nah, it's just a little bitty one. Uh, dragon is a dragon, no matter what the size. I don't deal with dragons. I smell a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and it's not me. You have a cat, <laughs> by chance? Because I smell pussy. <laughs> Yeah, I wow. got a cat. Huh. Well, you better be polite to her, though. She gets kind of touchy. We like cats. I don't know what Boris thinks about cats. But... Got a sack? <laughs> now, dirt. We're not going to have the windmill, kitty. <laughs> Yeah, just a minute. Got to talk to the boys out back. Talk to the boys out back? Who else is here? We only thought it was you and uh, right off. Yeah, I got my crew with me. Think I'd stay here alone? Well, with a dragon next Rydoff. door? Hmm. What, what's going on? A whole bunch of stuff keeps popping up in the room. What is this, magic? No, it's just loading in. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're just blaming it on roll 20. I, yeah, I sell magic. We, we zoned in too quickly. Yeah, I have this happen all the time with Flight Simulator too. so you Buffing. fly into the city and the city just pops up and all of a sudden there's a building in front of you. Yeah, Yeah, my render distance is a bit too low. Yeah, yeah. Do you sell any magical spells? I got a few scrolls. S scroll, scrolls. 
Yep. You have what a magical you're looking book. For? A magical book. Yeah, I don't know. If I don't have one, I could get one for you. And how how long how long would that take? Depends on how far I gotta go to find it. Okay, all right. You have me interested. What can you get? Yeah. Let me see. Ah, uh, here. This is West River. West River. Here's a at sample. Gamer. It's only a few pages, but it come out of a the Underdark. Mm, be careful, man. It might be cursed. Yeah, your face is cursed. So let, let me let me take a look at that. <laughs> Did he just ah, gonna blow us up. God, awesome! I love it. He just said his face is. Wow! Cursed. Just take his cane. Yeah. Silver fox's cane. Yeah, I'm gonna take silver fox's cane. You know, I think that's drow, but I ain't that familiar with the writings of the Underdark. Hmm. Ooh, drows are elves, aren't they? If anything, I can take care of. I know both Underdark and Elven. Alright, why don't you translate it for us? Probably I'll decipher there. it. Translate it. Please do. Alright. Okay, so I read aloud what it says in Elven. Or under. Oh my goodness. In two common. Yeah. Like I said, I don't know. Rightly know what's in that there book because I don't read draw. So is this actually a spell book, Dave? Uh, it, um, sure, it's a spell book. Can I see what it says? Yeah. Uh, just a bunch of magical writing. You can't understand it. Not in, in a, and not in the spell book. No, you can't understand it, Arvel dear. No, spell books. So are I can't understand written, it because spell books are written in a hidden code. Only that mage knows. So that's why it's why it's like that. So one mage just can't pick up somebody else's mage book and just start stealing spells out of it. So no, you, you can't. You can't understand it. But you can see on, uh, on the front that it has, you know, it, it does have a, it does have some drow writing, you know, basically giving you the name of, of the drow and, you know, basically that's what it is. But uh, when you open it up and you start reading, you try to read a book, it, it doesn't have anything. Hmm. Not that 